In this video, I'll show you how to set up debugging and testing for Python in LunarVim. To get started, let's open up our LunarVim config at .config lvim config .lua. We'll be installing three plugins to get started. mvim.python, which provides default configurations for Python and methods to debug individual test methods or classes. NeoTest, a framework for interacting with tests within NeoVim. And NeoTest Python, an adapter for Python which supports PyTest and UnitTest test files. LunarVim already includes two plugins for enabling DAP and a nice visual experience using NVim DAP and NVim DAP UI, so you just need to enable DAP and set up your debug adapter. In this case, we'll be setting up Debug Pi as our adapter. We will also need to install Debug Pi. Luckily, Mason makes this a very easy task. Just enter Mason install Debug Pi. We'll be using NeoTest for running our tests. With NeoTest, we'll be able to do things like run individual tests, get visual feedback about the status of our tests, and more. I've included some basic settings to get you started. There will be a link in the description for more options and their explanation. Lastly, we'll set up some key bindings for testing and debugging the class or individual methods. Space DM runs the nearest test. Space D capital M runs the nearest test in debug mode. Space DF runs all tests in the file. Space D capital F runs all tests in the file in debug mode. Space D capital S will display a summary for all of the tests. Now we're ready to start debugging and testing some Python code. Make sure you've created a virtual environment and installed the PyTest package. In this demo, I'll be testing a calculator class. I'll leave a link in the description to a GitHub repo with all this code so you can follow along. We'll start by testing an individual method by pressing space DM. This will find the nearest method and execute it. You should see a little green check mark indicating the test has passed. Next, we'll test the entire class with space DF. You should notice that every single test in the file has been executed. You can also get a summary of all the tests and their status by pressing space D capital S. Now let's try debugging our test. We'll add a couple breakpoints to one of our tests with space DT. You should notice a little red bug in the gutter. Now we'll run the test again, but this time in debug mode with space D capital M. You should notice that the test is paused at your first breakpoint and will continue after you press space DC. You should also notice that some UI elements were added as well, showing scopes, breakpoints, stacks, watches, debug controls, and terminal output. From here, we can use any of the debug commands built into LunarVim. You can view all of the commands for debugging by pressing space D and waiting for one second for the menu to show up. Or you can use the debug controls by clicking on the icons provided by the UI. So to finish out this test, I'll just press the continue button here, and you can see one test is passed in the terminal. And that's pretty much it. You can find the complete config over at starter.lvim in the LunarVim organization. Make sure you check out the Python IDE branch, and there'll be a link in the description. Remember, there will also be a link to a blog post that you can use for a reference as well. Thanks for watching this video. If you found it helpful, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And don't forget to hit the notification bell to be notified when I post new videos. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to leave them down below and I'll try to respond to as many as possible. You can also join the community on Discord for more discussion. If you would like to support me and my channel, consider joining the channel as a member or sponsoring me over on GitHub or check out the donation page at chrisatmachine.com donate. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.